And as I've mentioned before, our guest for today is no stranger to musical instruments. He is an accomplished musician, whether in a band or his solo career. He also owns an extensive guitar collection. So, without further ado, please welcome Funky Barata. <laughs> Hi, my Hello, Funky. hi. Hey, everyone. Hi. I, hi. Believe, I believe you're in Surabaya right now. Yes, I'm in somewhere at, at, uh, at a hotel room in Surabaya. Right. Quite dark here, so <laughs> I, forgive me for the lighting. No, 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 no you look great. Just, yeah. It's fine. The lighting is good. All right. Uh, first of all, uh, since we're talking about instruments, I'm really curious, when did you first start playing instruments? At what age? So, yeah, it was a guitar uh, when it was around my uh, it, 10 years old, maybe. 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't quite remember yet. Maybe around 10 or, or, or 11, when my brother, mm -hmm. who uh, actually, he was the mus musician in the family at first, mm -hmm. but then he uh, decided to uh, pursue another career in IT, then I became like, uh, yeah, I, 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 I own, uh, I, he, he gave me the, his guitar and started from there. I learned how to play guitar from, yeah, from very young age. And then I moved into another instrument and another instruments. And then I started writing songs. Wow. wow, I mean, uh, apparently it's not too late to start at 10 years old, right? I was about to say yeah, that. Because yeah, yeah. Uh, all of my friends, they started to learn how to play, for example, piano since four years old. Can you believe it? So, including you. Including me, yes. <laughs> so I, I'm really glad yeah. that, that you mentioned your story where you started learning at yes. 10. So you know what? Uh, everyone has hopes yeah. into becoming a great musician like you. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. True, true. And uh, Mas Ponky, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna ask the simple question. So why do you like playing music? Is it because your passion? You know that since you're playing guitar at the first? Well, it's because I don't know what else to do. Because <laughs> I, I have no interest in math. I have no interest in science. I have no interest in politics. I have no interest in biology. I only have interest in, in music. Uh, songs, uh, mm -hmm. singing, all sort of things, and yeah, that's the only thing. I from 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 the from uh, the morning when I wake up until when I'm about to sleep, music, music is always like one thousand percent in my mind. Always about music. Mm. All right, interesting. So uh, you are and, really focused since the beginning, yeah? Yeah. Uh, deciding or oh, what career do you want uh, you want to pursue, yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. From right. the age of 10. From the age of 10, that's amazing. interesting. That's really when amazing. When I was your age, I don't know. Yeah. I still playing some, you know, kids playing. Uh, and, and I didn't think to like pursue something uh, really focused at that age. Yeah. So, yeah, again, it's that like... That is everyone's dream, actually, to know what you want, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and to know uh, at the beginning, and since 10 years old, that's a good thing. Yeah. So, Mas Ponky, uh, our next question is, uh, do you yeah. have any funny or unique story about the music instruments in your life. So I heard your father bought you a guitar even even though he did not approve of your hobby. Is that true? Well, actually my father is my biggest uh, supportive uh, of my of my music career actually. So yeah, he bought me a guitar, but later I I uh, I uh, realized that he didn't really buy the guitar. Mm. He asked the guitar from a factory in Bandung. Well, apparently the, the owner of the factory, of the guitar factory is uh, a friend of his. So, yeah, he just asked, do you have a guitar for my son? And he didn't, he didn't buy it. So, yeah, so he asked uh, uh, first one guitar. And then I said, uh, and I said, thank you, dad. But this is, this is not the guitar that I want. I want this shape, not this shape. I want this particular <laughs> shape. And then, okay, I'll get you another one. And then another week, uh, seven day pass, and then he, he came to the house and he, he brought another guitar and this is what you want? Yes, this, this particular shape is what, is what I wanted. So yeah, he just, he just took it from his friend, I guess. He didn't buy it. He just <laughs> Yeah. Interesting story. So do you have uh, do you still have that, those guitars right now until right now? 
On, only one. Only oh. one. I, I deeply regret that I uh, have sold one of one of them. You've so sold I, it. I have okay. only one now. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't think that it will be a, a historical instrument at uh -huh. least for my career. I still have it in my mother's house in Jogja. Uh, I still have it there. So I I I'd rather keep it there. No, mm. It's not an expensive guitar. It's a very beginner guitar, but uh -huh. yeah, it's historical for me. Right. It's the one I wrote, Seribu Tahun Lamanya. Wow. Setia. wow. Seribu yeah. Tahun Lamanya. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the one we, I wrote with. We know that you can play a lot of instruments, right? Obviously, not just guitar. But if you have to choose only one instrument to play in your entire life, what would it be and why? That will be obvious. Uh, the answer is obvious. It, it will be guitar because I can bring guitar to the beach. I can bring guitar to your house. I can bring guitar anywhere, even in the meeting room. And I have my guitar on, it, on me. I can, yeah, I can play a guitar anywhere I want. I, I used to have this small guitar that I uh, always bring it to the uh, airplane when I'm traveling. I, I uh, bring the guitar and I, you know, practicing in the in the in the airplane. So yeah, it's definitely guitar. By I can't think of anyone, anything else. Yeah. Okay, I forgot to ask you earlier when you told us the story about your father bringing home the guitar, but you had the yeah. particular uh, type of guitar Shape. that you wanted, right? Yeah. Now, can you tell us more about it? I mean, what's your favorite type of guitar or maybe the brand or the name of it? Or the yeah. shape, yeah. Or the shape, yeah. So, what yeah, when I started it, it wasn't about the brand because I didn't know any any good brand or or, or anything uh, information about in the instrument. So, yeah, uh, it's just so there's this term uh, in a guitar when you say a cut away. Cut away is a guitar. If you see if in your mind, if you see a guitar, it's the whole body thing about the guitar, right? Yeah. yeah. Like 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 what in the screen there. Mm -hmm. That's the full body guitar. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted was the, a cutaway. A cutaway means there's a cutaway in the lower part of the guitar. Ah. When the, uh, it, oh. it, it is for when you are um, going down on a fret, you can go on a higher fret. That is why you need the cutaway there. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. If it's a full body, you can only uh, reach this certain of. So it's a very technical term. Yeah. So it's, it's not really important, but it's just yeah something that's. Yeah, I, I need it at that time. Okay, wow. <clears throat> but if you can choose between like electric guitar, a classical one, or acoustic, which one you choose? Uh, <laughs> well, right now, in my age, <laughs> probably acoustic <laughs> guitar because it sounds uh, wise, it sounds <laughs> easy, uh -huh. it sounds sexy at the same time. If I were to choose an electric guitar, then probably I would be a, a, a rock star right now. Well, I'm not. I'm not a rock star. I'm just a pop, uh, a pop song singer songwriter with a sappy song. That so, and the acoustic guitar will, will fit me well okay. instead of electric guitar. But I love electric. I have, yeah, I, I have come in my possession more than 50 guitars in my studio wow. now. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a crazy sick guitar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mas Ponky. By the way, concerts are now allowed after the government eased pandemic restriction. So, do you have any plans to make a concert in the coming features? Well, in fact, yeah, I do. But um, that is a very, it, it's a kind of, it's a my uh, like, um, you know, my solo concert because I feel I had, I have to do it. I have to do it. it. It was planned. Actually, the plan was I, I was about to do, it, to do it three years ago, but then then came the pandemic. Everything had to be postponed. Now I'm in uh, in, in um, discussion with uh, the the people who I'm going to work with that I have I have to have a, a big a concert mm -hmm. um, performing all my materials from year 2000 until. 2000 into 2022 so it's quite a big catalog i have 200 songs and i have to choose between them which one is the, the best songs for the concert but it's not going to be in the near future it's going to maybe maybe another year 
that I'm going to have that concert. Right. Yeah. You've mentioned about choosing the best song, so maybe you, you will give uh, such a hint for us right now. Because you as a singer and musician, maybe you want to uh, give a hint of what kind of song that you consider as your best, at least for your uh, upcoming oh. uh, concert. <laughs> <laughs> That would be hard, but that would be hard. But one song that people always ask me to play is the song that I wrote for Krisha, the late Krisha, mm -hmm. uh, Seperti Yang Kau Minta. Oh. Always gets the audience, you know, always get the audience to sing, you know, they always love the song. Even it's, it's a uh, slow, medium songs, but it's always, it always gets them to sing along with me, Seperti Yang Kau Minta. Legend. Legend. Legendary right. song. Well, since today we're uh, talking about musical instruments, I'm going to bring the topic back to it. Um, and I want to ask you, have you ever tried playing an instrument from another country, let's say? A traditional uh, musical instrument, maybe. Traditional. Traditional, I have. I don't think I have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I would like to try, though. I don't think I have yet. Yeah. Oh, from okay. Kalimantan, yes. From mm -hmm. Sunda, yes, I have. From Manado, yes. But from other another country, I don't think so. Okay. And now, Mas Ponky would like to invite you to try a little game with us, and we'll play some <laughs> audio clips, and you have to guess the instrument. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm on it. I'm okay. On it. <laughs> so, challenge number one. Probably. Uh, Can you guess? I think it, I think it's is sampai sampai from Kalimantan, but it's Kalimantan, though. I don't know sampai from Kalimantan. So it's actually. Okay, yes. let's. Uh, let's see yeah. the correct answer on the big screen here in the studio. Okay, we're gonna reveal the answer in just a bit. It ah, is kulitong. This is actually a musical oh, instrument from, from the Philippines. But from the sound, I think I oh, believe okay. uh, it's quite the same with yeah. the, with sampek from Kalimantan. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, since we we talk about uh, the instrument come from mm -hmm. our region, from Southeast Asia, maybe you can guess as well. If it's if it's not come from yeah. Indonesia, then you can get, try to guess it from. The region, yeah. Yeah, so it's actually Kuitong. Uh, Kuitong is from the Kalinga Province, Kuitong. Philippine, using bamboo for the material instrument. So you know, because uh, the sound is like you know, yeah, uh, in combination with the bamboo. Yeah. yeah. All okay, right. Number so, two. Yes, it's my turn to give you a challenge for uh, number two challenge. Yeah, Mas Ponky. Okay, be ready for this. <laughs> Again, let's hear the music first. I know this one. I know this one. Okay. What is it? India. Is it's tabla? Tabla. Ah, tabla. Okay. Yeah. Is it right? So let's see. Let's reveal the answer. The big plasma, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right. Okay. It's quite one point for hard, yeah, but me. yes, uh, tabla is often <laughs> used in Arabian or Indian or Dangdut songs in Indonesia. Yeah? Indian. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's quite familiar, yeah, with the, uh, the sound. The sounds, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's move to challenge number three. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused, but mm -hmm. it's either xylophone or marimba is either yes. xylophone or marimba okay. marimba is either uh, that too <laughs> one, maybe one, it's marimba one of your answers it has is lower correct. frequency yes, yes. So, maybe it's marimba because lower frequency yeah, yeah okay you got it right okay let's see the big screen okay Whoa. it's revealed you're right uh, yeah. marimba what a, what a true marimba. musician you are Mas yeah <laughs> 
So, Marin, but <laughs> is developed and found in Mexico in the like 19th century. Oh, so it's actually modern okay. marimba. I wouldn't have guessed it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So how, how, how do you know it's marimba? I thought it's kolintang, you know. It's <laughs> really? Because it's quite the same, eh? the composition. It's similar. Yeah. Similar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I have used it in some of my music when I try to create a, a beach music mm -hmm. that has ah. the sound of the beach. I, I use that wonder. marimba thing. Right, yeah. interesting. So do you have marimba at home? No, it's a synthesizer, synthesizer. that produces sounds alike like like marimba. That's yeah. right. All right. To imitate, to imitate sounds like to marimba. imitate songs, but mm. it's a modern time. Modern it technology, time. actually. Yes. Yeah, it it helps the musician to create uh, arrangement for concerts and for you know music production, of course. Yeah. All right, then, yeah. um, I believe that uh, this is the end of our interview, am I right? Yeah. Okay, it's been a pleasure having oh. you in the show, Mas Funky. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing about your experience Thank you for having me. regarding yes. uh, music. And you won the game as well because you yes. know yeah. Marimba, Marimba and Tabla. <laughs> Congratulations uh, for winning the game. Yay! Thank you, Mas Funky. Thank you, Mas Funky. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Bye. 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 Bye.